uh, December 4th meeting of the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, tonight, first item we have on the agenda is case number 1422, a petition by Joseph Welsh. Mr. Welsh here? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me read the legal notice, and then we'll uh, get on with things here. Back, back in that. Two Case number 14-22. The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Selectman's Meeting Room at the Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Thursday, December 4th, 2014, at 7 p.m. on the petition of Joseph Welsh, who seeks a special permit under Section 6.3.8 of the Zoning Bylaws in order to demolish an existing non-conforming single-family dwelling and to construct a new single-family dwelling on a non-conforming lot as per plan submitted on the property located at 71 Harrison Street in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there is an objection, I will dispense with the uh, reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified, as were the following. I'm not objecting. <laughs> no object. <laughs> I'm not objecting. Okay. However, uh, I live directly across the park from the um, from the site, but I'm now within the 300 I feet. I was going to so say, I didn't see you on the abutters no, list. No, I'm not know. on the abutters list. So if there's no concern about that, I don't have a problem sitting on the case. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, not, I would be curious. Not myself. an abutter, but he lives maybe 500 feet away. <laughs> yeah, maybe. about that. Yeah. 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 Well, hopefully, it'll be my neighbor, so. <laughs> Okay, we will continue then. Uh, Mr. Dreamer will be able to hear the uh, case. Uh, as I said, unless there is an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified as were the following. Board of Selectmen, Town Clerk, Police Department, Fire Department, Building Department, Conservation Commission, Health Department, Assessor's Office, Engineering Division, CPDC, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, Linfield, North Reading, Stoneham, Woburn, and Wilmington. Now, testimony given before this board is taken under oath. So if you think you may want to speak tonight, please stand and raise your right hand, and I'll administer the oath. Uh, anybody that's going to speak tonight on behalf or whatever, feel free. Does, doesn't, doesn't hurt. hurt. If you don't speak, you don't speak. <laughs> testimony given before this board is taken under oath. Uh, I said that. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Response is I do. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Welsh, uh, floor is yours if you would like to present your case. Uh, one question I had, and quickly, and I'll get into this thing when I looked at this, is just to uh, maybe if you would clarify ownership and stuff. Uh, number one, I saw on the uh, plot plan, it's noted the current owner of record is Madeline Ellis. And, you know, I I'm just want to make sure that, that you. That was at the time. Okay. The sedan was Madeline's. You had. You ha I didn't have possession of the property at that time that he produced that print, I believe. That might be the error. Yeah, okay. Well, it wasn't an error. It was the act. act yeah, that was time. back in October. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so since this time, or you are actually the, the current owner, yes. owner of that yes. property. Okay, that's fine. The LLC is the owner. Yes. The yeah. LLC, right. Which is me. Okay. Yeah, you're the manager or member of the LLC. Correct. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. The floor is yours. Uh, I put in this petition to ask to remove, um, demo this house that's there because the home that's there is not adequate for my family. Um, I have a wife and three children. So the reason I want to remove this home is to build a home that's um, 25, I believe 2,500 or 2,900 square feet. Yes, 2,900 square foot home. I want to remove the pool in the backyard as I 
when I spoke with Glenn, that's one of my other concerns was the pool that's there. Um, and I also want to remove the shed, but those items I understand that I can go directly to the building inspector and get permits for that, not with this board. But I just want to kind of tell you my whole idea with sure. a piece of property. Yeah. I appreciate it because those questions most likely would come up tonight. We would be asking about that. Correct. Yeah. Uh, um, there is a maple tree out in the front corner of the property that I understand is not in good health, but I'm going to have it inspected before it's removed because my wife actually likes the tree. But I've been told by an excavator that a gentleman that he believes the tree is not in good mm -hmm. health. Um, I am moving the house off the property line that exists now, which is only 2.5 feet, and moving it 24 feet closer to the, my right um, property line, which still keeps me, in, I guess, conforming to the setback of 15 feet, which this house I'm proposing 16 feet 8 inches off the property line. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, I think that's... Hope I filled you in enough. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, uh, Glenn. Uh, any uh, points you'd like to bring up on this uh, case? Well, it should, no, it's a typical um, demolition of a non non-conforming structure on a non-conforming lot and the reconstruction of a new of a new dwelling and all all of the setbacks and areas and everything are being complied with on the new proposal. Um, and as the as the applicant says, he's moving from two and a half feet on the left side line right. to I believe it's eight eighteen point three feet on the plan. So I, I have no problems. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a it's just a typical tear down and rebuild. Okay, thank you, uh, board members. David, uh, any comments? A um, couple of just observations for the record. Mm -hmm. uh, the only remaining non-conformity of the proposed structure is the lot is non-conforming. The new structure will actually decrease the non-conformity. The, st the structure itself, the new proposed structure, will be uh, conforming, essentially, in all respects related to setbacks. Uh, the dimensions of the new home are about one and a half times the current home, generally. Current, current property is about, what, 1,600 square? And then you oh, oh, 1900 square. Wait, hold on, I have it here somewhere. Uh, 1400 square, and the new one is going to be 2900. So you're almost almost doubling one and a half times the doubling your not the, the footprint, just the square foot. The square foot there in the house. Yep. Yes. The foundation is going to be just a couple hundred square foot larger. larger. Correct. And because you're doing colonial. Yes. All right. Um, I don't have anything else. Mm -hmm. No, I have no John? Um, I assume that you're going to meet the, uh, the height requirement. Correct. I already submitted that with the um, paperwork. Yeah. There's a uh, architectural drawing inside. I believe it's well below the height. Yeah, to the peak. Yeah, it's almost 35 to the peak, but uh, obviously, I think Glenn measures to uh, about the midpoint. halfway point on the roof. Uh, yeah, mid, midpoint, midpoint between the peak and uh, and your right side. I think that was indicated at about 26 something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it looks like it'll meet that height requirement there. Mm -hmm. That's the only that was I that was it. Sai. The only thing I wrote down was what you started off with the ownership issue, and that's yeah. been clarified. Uh, I think this is, uh, I don't have any problem with this at all. You're basically taking a non conforming structure, at least with setbacks, and very unsightly at this moment. And I think this has got to be a distinct improvement to the, to the area, and it fully conforms to the current bylaw setbacks. I agree with you. I have no problem with it. Eric, okay. Likewise, I really don't have anything uh, else to add on that. Again, the couple of observations. Uh, 
The proposed dwelling uh, now is going to uh, meet all required setbacks here. It, all, it falls within the building envelope, this, the lot building envelope there. Uh, it is a lawful non-conforming lot. It appears the house, the original house, and I assume the lot at the same time was laid out, about 1900 it's indicated in the uh, uh, assessor's records. And uh, I think we have to find, uh, one of the items that we have to find is that the new dwelling uh, will not be substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood. Uh, and I, I certainly don't think so on that. Uh, it's, it's a little larger than uh, some of the houses in the neighborhood, but there is one, I think, that's, what, two houses yeah. down a bit that's relatively new, and again, it's about the same size, two and a half stories uh, on that. So I, I think it'll, I have no problems with it in there, in the neighborhood. Uh, and uh, again, height issue, uh, we, we asked about that. Uh, site coverage, less than 25%. Uh, based on the plot plan, they note it's at 21.1%. Uh, yeah, so I think we're all set that way. Uh, so I think we've said it. I'll uh, open up the uh, hearing uh, to any public comments. Is there anybody uh, from the public here who would like to comment on this? I have some questions. If you, okay. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Have, no, go ahead. I have some questions we'll get you, as well. If you, if you identify yourself yes, and give your address. 65 Harrison on, on the Okay. And a butter to this house, yes. Um, to the south. Of the to the south, house. okay. So I have a couple of questions. Can sounds like first of all, no question that the house needs to go. Okay. <laughs> I've been watching it deteriorate slowly. <laughs> so and that chimney, I'm amazed it's still actually intact. <laughs> so I I don't have any argument there. Um, I would like to know what it means that it's going to, because it's going to move in my direction. So I would love to know what that really looks like if I can. Okay, uh, I'm I'm sure he would uh, be glad to show it to you. Uh, were you aware that the plans of not, uh, you know architectural plans and the plot plans were all available down here prior to the meeting? You could come down to the planning office and look at those. Uh, that's not tremendously convenient. Oh. Well, so, Tuesday nights they're open, town halls open, but anyway, anyway, he has them sure right he can, here. I'm sure he can show you. And one. I'm sure he can show you what he has. It'll take like 30 seconds. Sure, yeah. sure. So you don't want to see the plot plan, you want to see the plan of the house itself? Well, I'd like to. I think she's concerned with both. She's where it's going to be located. She's on concerned it's sliding right. to the south of there. No, no, that's okay. Yeah. This is the existing plan. Yep. And that is the swimming pool. Yep. And this is the house. Right. And I guess this would be your property? Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's an interest. Um, this is going to be the new property. So it is, I think, I just, on the calculator real quick, I think it's going to move 24 feet from this corner this way. But it will still be. I believe it was 18 feet. It says 16 feet. Right. From my drive is what I'm trying to say. what you're saying? Oh, from your property line, yes. From the property line, yes. which is pretty much the same as the as the drive. Uh, maybe. I'm not I'm not really sure. Well, this appears to be my driveway. I okay. have been found under the driveway. Oh, there you go. Okay, under drive. Okay. Okay. So, um, um, oh, okay. so thank you. Thank you. And I can also... I'll show you these right here. Uh, this might have a, 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 a thing. That would be that would be the side that you would get that to come from from your right. So I just have so thank you. Okay. Okay, that's very helpful. I just have a couple of other comments. You One will. of my concerns about this is um, you commented on the house to my north, which is the other large house that was recently built. Mm -hmm. and um, where the Kentons are. So I'm getting really crowded. This, um, th this is the Kentons, and they sit on a rise. We had some discussions with many of the members of this group at the time that they were building 
because of the height and mm -hmm. that they are higher, they're on a rise that sits above my house. So it's very um, imposing and it has created shadow problems, a number of other things. I am hoping to avoid that this time around. Um, so, prob you know, it, the, in the, particularly in the winter time, it, there's a walkway in the back which gets ice on it. The shadow from this house prevents melting. I mean, it's just, it creates a hazard as well. So I'm just trying to keep from being totally squashed between two very large houses. Okay, okay. Uh, as I say, they, they need all the setback requirements, you know, for, for zoning. He's not asking for a variance or anything in regards to asking to narrow that. No, he, he, they, in fact, they're a little more. He's a little further away than he really has to be. Uh, not a great amount, but yeah, he is. He's within the actual lot building envelope uh, there. So uh, it's, you know, that's about it. Uh, can't do much more than that. Uh, I don't know in regards to, uh, you know, you're worried about shadows, etc. He's to the north of you. Mm -hmm. uh, it shouldn't be, he shouldn't impact you, I would think, as much as maybe the house to the south of you would have uh, on that. It, it, you know, re regards to shadows and stuff like that. So there are also some trees in the back that are, some of them are actually, the line goes through those trees. And mm -hmm. I'm also concerned about what the plan is for those trees. I don't have any knowledge of any trees back there. I think they would be shown on the um, on the front. Yeah. So here they. So these are the guys I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Are they the trees beside your driveway down in the front there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think they're on the plot plan there. Yeah. And they're on. So these guys. <coughs> so these guys. Some. You know, like yeah, no, those, those are mine yeah. and chunk no, of those, those aren't, those aren't going to be any type of, yeah, I'm going to be doing my work here and obviously removing the swimming pool and yeah. hopefully removing the shed. Yeah, that would probably be an improvement too. Absolutely, <laughs> especially. The raccoons in there, you know. I haven't been in there. I hired a company to come in and clean out and they still haven't come. Okay, so the, your, the new footprint is going to be pretty much where the driveway is now? No. So no. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. No. It's right here. Your drive, I mean. The drive current drive. Are you my taking driveway. Up, are you take, you're taking up the current drive? Correct. You're going to have to. Correct. Okay. Where the telephone pole is right there, okay. and that's where the new drive is going. Okay, so we're talking probably about 16 feet. Yes, okay. yes. And I know I'm taking the trees down. So that should be a good Okay. 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 Uh, are there any other uh, further questions from the public? Yes. I'm Susan Taylor. I live at uh, 76 Pearl Street, so I'm directly behind the property. Um, so we share a, a rear yard. Um, and I did come down to the, to the um, offices to take a look at the plans. Mm -hmm. I don't have copies myself. Um, so just a couple comments. I do realize that it was, it was in with all of the requirements that it needs. Um, and I don't necessarily have a problem with it being torn down, and I think the house is very attractive looking, and I think it will help. Um, the issue I really have is with the size. I think that it's quite large for the neighborhood that it's in. Um, there are two smaller houses that are adjacent to it. Each of them, one is only one story tall, and the other one I think is one and a half. Um, to the uh, left, that house is under a thousand square feet, and uh, it's going to I'm not sure, but maybe 15 to 1600 square feet. Um, so in this one, it's clearly almost three times as large. 
And so in terms of what it means to the character of the neighborhood, I do think the house is certainly an improvement to the one that is there, but I think in the larger context, I think it is, is not so much um, in keeping with the character of the neighborhood in terms of its overall size. Um, one of the dimensions that I did see on there that it's 34 feet 11 to the peak, which is only one inch shorter than the requirement. And uh, not really. So if he measures 35 to the feet. Mid peak, but, but it's measured to the, the midpoint to the mid of the roof. Yes, the midline of the roof. But it's still considerably larger than what's there. Oh, so, so I know certainly. that yes. you know, the existing house is 21 feet wide. This new one is going to be 45 mm -hmm. feet wide. It's much larger than what's there. And it, it, it's maybe not something that can even be controlled in here, but it's just sort of a, a larger big picture issue that I think the town as a whole is going to need to address. Um, one of the purposes of the zoning bylaw is, um, what does it say, to prevent overcrowding of land. And I think that a house of this size in this neighborhood on this lot is actually not following that purpose. Okay. Thank you. Uh, may I add? May yes. I, 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 would, I would thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I would add, sir, I second that comment. I would also add that we made this, some of us in the neighborhood made the same comments about the earlier house, house. Um, mm -hmm. obviously to no avail. Um, so I would, I guess, ask your indulgence on this one. It's getting, it's a very different, uh, it's a very different feel. Mm -hmm. um, and it's mm -hmm. dramatically different from the neighborhood. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other f comments from the uh, public? No further comments? I will close the uh, public portion of the hearing. Uh, any further comments from board members? John. <coughs> the uh, <coughs> comments that were just made is an issue that uh, has come up before this board for the past, I'm going to say, four or five years. Uh, and is classified in the, under the term mansionization. Uh, and the difficulty that the board has is what is allowable under the bylaws um, in terms of um, dimensional regulations, uh, including height. Um, and it's an issue that uh, the board has struggled with, uh, but there is no clear cut uh, direction on what we can impose and what we can't. And um, I agree with you, the, <coughs> the upper part of Charles Street, uh, Harrison, uh, all the way down, except for the new one that was built, the two family. Um, uh, Pearl Street, uh, very much the same. Um, but uh, this particular request fits in the envelope that it was made to fit in. And um, I agree, that's why I asked about the height, um, only because it is at least ac um, architecturally, you see the, um, the model of it or, or the uh, rendering of it. Uh, it is very imposing. Well, I, did, I, did keep the, I didn't go to the maximum height. No, nor I did I go to the maximum square footage allowed on the lot because I, I I knew the home wouldn't look correct. You know, that's why I stayed at 21% of the square footage of lot instead of 25 feet. And the, no, height, I, the height's not extended to the max. It's, I imagine Glenn could. If it were extended to the max, I would have a major problem with it because, because that, I think that's going to the nth degree. And that, that to me, is, is determination or determination that it is a, a mansionization. Could be wrong. It's a standard size home of today. It's not. Doesn't. It's not ten feet tall ceilings inside or anything. It's not a big massive structure of some you know McMansion. It's a pretty common size house inside. Mm -hmm. No, the the problem that I have is with the roof itself. It's not just this roof. It's other roofs that we've we've dealt with, and I don't know what the pitch is on this particular roof, 
but it is, uh, in, to my mind, substantial. Um, what's the pitch? Ten. Ten. That's uh, a, good, a good pitch, in my in my mind, anyways. But I, it, it, you know, um, I'd, I'd say uh, you know you didn't go to the maximum degree, um, and it's it's very difficult to to uh, indicate that um, it does not meet the requirements for. Um, the neighborhood because there's one, actually there's two on the street right now that uh, I think maximizes. It's be a great improvement to the neighborhood. I oh. mean, obviously, there's the, no there's no doubt in my mind exciting. that it will be. Yes, it will be. But I agree with your you know your view. And as I said, this I, I only make those comments because uh, I know that my neighborhood is is concerned. Um, but um, I mean. You could sell your property and have somebody come in and tear it down and put up a very similar, and the board would be pretty much powerless to do anything about it. Yeah, I see. No. Well, you, said the, you said the public part was over. That's why. Yeah. It, it, but it's I don't know. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, I bought into the neighborhood because of the feel of the neighborhood. Um, did a lot of improvements to the existing structure that I'm in. Um, intend, you know, been there for a long time, intend to stay there. It's, and. And that's what I also want to no, do. I want I know. to improve I mean, the property. Everybody wants, you know, a home that they're comfortable in. And I'm not in a position to just sell and move somewhere else. And if you look at the neighborhood, um, there's been a great deal of um, a change in, in uh, I won't say change, I should say um, uh, restoration of, of the older homes in the area. But the people, I, I mean, I, I think they like the neighborhood uh, and therefore they stay. Um, or if they do move out to something larger or m move out for other reasons, families come in that, that uh, it fits their particular needs at that particular time. So I, I think that the, the neighborhood has improved uh, substantially and certainly uh, a proposal such as this is, not, is going to do nothing but improve the values of the homes around it. Thank you, John. Uh, any further comments by board members? No. And I, I just, another thing I want to clarify, it, it is going to be owner-occupied. You Correct. do plan on living there, yes. It isn't a spec house or something that's going to be put out there. Okay. Thank you. Uh, there's no further. That, is a, that is a question that I had, too. <laughs> is it? You're not going to be there for one or two years and then moving on, are you? Whatever my <laughs> wife wants to do, that's what I'm doing. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's put that down in the notes. Blame it on the wife. <laughs> yeah. It's like she sent me here. Uh, she didn't come. Okay. No further uh, comments from board members. I would uh, entertain a motion at this time. Glenn has something. Oh, Glenn, yes. Okay. As we all know, town meeting just recently approved our new bylaws. Yes. Right. So this particular application will not be coming before the Zoning Board of Appeals if this gets approved by the Attorney General. It will be issued as of a right because it's they comply with minimum setbacks, setbacks yeah. height limitations, and lot coverage. So probably in about 60 days, this this will just come straight to the building department and be would granted. come to the building department. It would not even come to a board of appeals, as long as he met the requirements of the zoning bylaws. Do you understand that he would, Glenn then would uh, issue a building permit on it. Yeah. So, thank you. Uh, I would entertain a motion at this time then, or uh, on this case. Voting members will be David. Kathleen, John, myself, and Cy. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, I move to approve the petition um, of Joseph Wells, who seeks a special permit under Section 6.3.8 of the Zoning Bylaws, 
in order to demolish an existing non-conforming single-family dwelling and to construct a new single-family dwelling on a non-conforming lot on the property located at 71 Harris Street in Reading, Massachusetts. As referenced in the plot plans, there's a certified plot plan and a proposed plot plan, um, both prepared by Amerisite Land Survey, um, Randy Donkers Manager, 25 Oak Tree Road, Auburn, New Hampshire. They both look to be dated October 22nd, 2014, and stamped by Randy J. Donkers, who looks a uh, professional land surveyor. Um, in addition, there were some- In Massachusetts. Oh, in Massachusetts. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there were some architectural plans submitted, um, A1 through A4, um, yep. prepared by Silver Watch Architects, 224 Main Street, Salem, New Hampshire. Um, and stamped by Joel Silverwatch. Looks like registered architect, Salem, New Hampshire. Um, and then we usually put some conditions on the special permit. Um, first, the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector a certified plot plan of the proposed construction and proposed foundation plans prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work. Second, the petitioner's final construction plans for the new structure sh shall be submitted to the building inspector along with the as-built foundation plans prior to the issuance of a building permit. And finally, the as-built plan showing the completed construction shall be submitted to the building inspector immediately after the work is completed and prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit. So moved. Thank you. Have more time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Do we need to refer to the certified plot plan? Isn't the proposed plot plan the only one that counts? Uh, okay. Not, I think Kathleen mentioned that. I thought you said mention both. I think oh, she both. mentioned mm -hmm. both. Both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Why do you need the certified one? So just the proposed, probably, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think just That's the proposed right. one is proposed. actually required, but mm -hmm. that is yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Just the just proposed, proposed plot plan mm -hmm. reference to. Uh, no further comments? I'll second that. And a second from Cy. Uh, no further comments. Uh, all those in favor of the motion, raise your hand. All those opposed, let the uh, record show approved 500. Thank you. You need an extra set? Uh, I, I can use my just set here. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, two weeks, tw uh, yeah, 14 days to write up the decision. That'll be uh, recorded with the town clerk, and from there it'll be recorded with the registry of deeds. And uh, after it's recorded with the registry of deeds, uh, there is an appeal period after it's submitted to the town clerk. After the appeal period, you should be able to go ahead and uh, proceed with your paperwork. Then. Okay? And let me stamp uh, the plans here, uh, and uh, we'll give you a stamp set for your records. And uh, I'll keep a stamp record in the files here. Okay? <laughs> I, I don't know if we are going to be stamping these. <laughs> Kim did this. <laughs> I will just write write the case number on them and uh, go from there. Uh, Twelve, four, fourteen. Well, the ink pad <laughs> the ink pad came out, yeah, so we got us at the bottom. The so it's mm -hmm. not yeah. much we can do about it now. Oh.
set of plans for you as, uh, as approved tonight. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, thank you. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't take off into. That's okay. You didn't go over yourself. Oh. Not too bad. Not huh? too bad. <laughs> Sometimes I have weights. I don't know. <laughs> cases on the agenda tonight, but we do have some uh, minutes to uh, review and approve. Uh, so if we'd like to get to those. <coughs> October 16th and from uh, November 6th. Let's see, sure we will tackle the uh, October 16th uh, minutes. Mm -hmm. Has anybody had a chance to go through? Yeah. On page three, mm -hmm. it says it probably should be Mr. O'Sullivan instead of Mr. Kieran. In case number four to twenty, it's like the fourth paragraph down and then the final paragraph. Instead of Mr. Kieran, put Mr. O'Sullivan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, same page. Yeah. Um, one, two, three paragraphs down. Uh, last sentence in the paragraph. Um, I don't think I have made mention that the ward would make a motion. I think I said that they would move on the motion. We wanted the board to move on the motion? Yes. Okay. Last sentence on the third paragraph. Last line. What is it? So the board would move on the motion. Move on. And then a little further on in that same sentence, again, move on the motion. Mr. Leo wanted the board to move. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on the second page. Yeah. Um, yeah. Halfway, so halfway, yeah. halfway down. Um, comment that I apparently made. It encroaches on three and a third of the sides. I think it was just it encroaches on three sides of the property. Uh, I think I said that. Okay. 3.3 feet, I think it was. Oh, 3.3 yeah, feet. Three point three. Okay, 3.3. And you would said maybe you would said three and a third when you saw the 3.3. Uh, three. So I think it should be 3.3 three feet. Came on that one. And then back to case 1420, fourth paragraph down where Kathy suggested a change. Very last sentence, gamble should be gambrell. Mm-hmm, yes. Gambrell. 
Okay. Okay. And, and let's see, second page. Let's see, I have uh, about the fourth paragraph from the bottom. Or third paragraph where it says the chairman stated with the addition. Uh, can we slip the word building envelope in there within the envelope? It's the building envelope. I pick, you picked up all the changes I had except one, and that's on page four, paragraph five from the top. You got to spell size name right. Okay, that would help, huh? <laughs> okay. If you're comfortable with the minutes now, that I would. Uh, Motion to approve the minutes of October 16th as amended. Do I second. 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 All those in favor? Six zero zero. Thank you. And we have the minutes of uh, November 6th now. And, uh, uh, the only thing I saw in that is to, just to start it off, it, it starts off a public hearing. Can we put the ZBA held a public hearing on the petition? Uh, anything else from anybody? I guess I go on page one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh paragraph. Mm -hmm. About extending a non conformatory. I would say non-conforming what? Non-conforming. Non-confirming. Non-confirmatory, yeah. Okay. Any other comments? If not, uh, I'll accept a motion. I'll, I'll move, move to the minutes of November 6, 2014. Second. Second from Cy. Thank you, David. Uh, all those in favor of the uh, accepting the minutes? Thank you. Six zero zero. Okay. Thank you. And uh, one last item we had, and I don't know, <laughs> a, a report from uh, the uh, zoning advisory committee. Though I. Is your work done? Or? Our work is done. <laughs> yes, okay. And Maybe you give us a quick summary then. Three nights of town meeting, two of which were concerned with the zoning bylaw. Article 8 of the town warrant passed. Uh, some could say overwhelmingly uh, to support in favor of the amended sections of the bylaw that comprised that article of warrant. Uh, and and to renumber and um, reorganize the other sections that had no substantive changes but will uh, in the springtime as I understand it in April so the uh, the article passed voted okay. up so that'll be sent to the Attorney General's office right. Glenn was saying uh, along with uh, the there was another the first night of the hearing was concerned with the first night of town meeting was concerned with the historic, historic district. Historic district on Summer Avenue, yes. And so that was approved as well, and they will both, I'm guessing, go to the attorney general's office if they already haven't been submitted. Right. Uh, as of yet, they will be submitted uh, to the AG for approval. Okay. Glenn thinks 60 days. I would be surprised. Uh, I've seen it 60. I've seen, I think the last time we had a change and it had to be approved by the Attorney General, we were all surprised. It came back like within weeks, less than 30 days. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. So sometimes it's surprising. It's the time of the year, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's anybody's guess. So, yeah. so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I know that everybody that supported certain articles would like to see them approved and enacted as soon as possible. So. 
Okay. Well, I, I think we want to thank you, David, for your time Absolutely. on that committee. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, uh, it took yeah. a lot of time. I know it didn't. Certainly appreciated by me, and uh, I'll speak on behalf of the board. I think mm -hmm. it's appreciated by all the board members. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Thank you for your thanks. It was a thankless effort. <laughs> 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 We're not done yet. A April is uh, April is the next round, so oh, okay. we'll get there. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, nothing else on the agenda tonight. I would accept a motion for an adjournment. I move that. Move to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second, second from Kathleen. All those in favor? Thank you so much. Meeting is adjourned.